Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. Thanks very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We are playing some FIFA 22. Um, I want to just have a quick talk, just while we're getting into this Champions League game. Um, <clears throat> I just want to have a little talk about, um, about the FIFA series. So, I'm enjoying it to a point. I'm a little bit fed up with the AI. Uh, we could switch over to like a, a proper career. Uh, but I don't think I can really be bothered, um, in all honesty. What we'll probably do is continue playing this, um, but what we'll most likely do is the episodes won't be as, as regular as they have been. They'll be fairly regular where, where we've got gaps in our schedule, but when we're playing sort of other games and series, then then they may drop off for a little bit and then reappear when those series ends, those sort of things. It'll be a bit more sporadic, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, if if you really want to see it, then let me know. Let me know your feelings and your thoughts, and we'll we'll do what we can. But um, you know, it's, it's, it it was fun to a point, and it's been I I'm enjoying it to a point. It's nice to see the progression of nerdy, but but just you know that some of the things of, of FIFA is always a bit a bit cack, um, and you know, and the fact that you can play a game for for ten minutes and the ball comes nowhere near you. Um, and you fire it in the bottom corner. Uh, yeah, just sometimes when you play it, you know, you can you can just you can just drift in and out so readily, and and it's nothing to do with you. You know, you're doing the same things. Just some of the decisions from the AI is just so poor. Um, well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. I really wanted the first one. We got the ball on the wing, cut in. I was hoping to curl it in the top corner. I really wanted that to, to happen. To really shut up that conversation we were just having. There we are. We'll take the the one 0 lead after eight minutes away from home. I think I've asked this question before. Who are FCSB? They're not Sporting Benfica, is that who they are? I feel like I've said this before though, and I wasn't sure then either. And then it was, and then it was obvious who they were. Well done, Dembele. Got a goal to tell you about in the Arsenal game. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Arsenal. They're the first on the score sheet here with 13 minutes played. Many thanks as ever. Ooh, that's the one we want. There's Vlad in goal. Big old Vlad. His movement has been excellent. Oh, no, I think they're from um, oh Romania, somewhere like that. Oh, maybe. I feel like that's who we're playing. I can't remember. You'd have to tell me in the comments because I suck. Bear in mind, I got confused between the new Camp and the Bernabeu. <laughs> I completely forgot the new Camp existed. Oh, I love that curler, especially now we've got more curl. I love it. I just want to score goals from outside of the box curled into the top corner all day. Look where I'm running just because I want it again. Too hard. We're going to keep trying. See, they, they told us to keep trying. We're going to keep trying. Bulgaria? I don't know where they're from. I don't know who they are. I feel like we played them when we were at Arsenal, maybe. That's the worst pass you could have put in, mate. Look at the angle I was running at. What was that? Oh, this Vlad is Vlad is impossible to beat. Well, what a great save that was to keep them in this. May just be the Vlad the impenetrable. They haven't been at their best maybe not. Maybe not the right name for Vlad. Who knows? He might be penetrable. Whatever he does in his his own time is up to him. I say. We shouldn't judge him. Cut out. This looks threatening. Chance here. Oh, come on. Magical save it 
There is no way he should be getting a chance to save those. That's the problem here. Come on, boys. Let's see about the delivery. Can he finish here? Tremendous block. Cuts it back. Finesse. Oh. <laughs> How have we... Ah, uh, Stera Bucharest. That's it, right? Well, Barcelona have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have been pressing... That's who we're playing, I remember. They need to be a bit more clinical in front of goal. And options in the centre. And reading it absolutely superbly. Oh, come on. Vlad is insane. Who is this Vlad fella? I'm a 99. And now the delivery. Well, still an issue here. And in the end, no Oh, come on. How do we not get that back? This is in this is insane. Is sounded for half time in this game. This is absolutely mental. How many shots have we had? How do I see? Performance match facts. Here we go. 11 shots. Expected goals 2.1. We've got one. I hate expected goals as a stat. It drives me mad. Into the second half then. And Barcelona holding advantage. But a long way from being settled. Frankie de Jong. Fluency of movement. De Jong. Pogba has it. Crisp tackling. Mm. They're a bit more solid when they get people behind the ball. Unlike us, who are all over the shop once again at the back. Defensively. An exciting La Liga match and prospect here on EA TV. It's Barcelona facing Sevilla. Bloody Pogba. Barcelona. Oh my God, we're going to lose. It's exactly the same as the last game. Oh, come on. Disappointed I didn't have the pace to get away from that defender. But we'll never beat Vlad again. Could be the turning point here. Because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. And into the last 30 minutes now. And a goal has gone in at the Emirates. Let's hear about it from Alex. Yeah, what's happening at the Emirates? This could square the game. Oh, come on, boys. useless turnips I don't know where that came from I was trying not to swear also now we'll never know what's happening at the Emirates so back underway they've leveled it at 1-1 here well we're sorry for interrupting you there we go just to confirm Arsenal did find an net in that match and their advantage at the moment stands at 2-0 Foiling them effectively. Dembele. Why did you not shoot, you dweeb? What was he thinking? Why did he shoot? All the room in the world to run into. From one of the other games, and big news at that. Here's Alex Scott. Yes, it was a penalty for Hertha, and the goalkeeper has pulled off a worldly of a save with this one. The score is still 2 1 with 71 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Gotta be right. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, great cross. What a Scott that is. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. 
Ten minutes to go. We are drawing with what I assume will be the worst team in the league. Shit, I missed that. We're just so shoddy at the back. Every time the ball comes forward, it looks like we're at sixes and sevens. There we go. That's what it needed. Needed some nerdy. Good run. Good ball over the top. Nice little cut back. And then pulls it back to the to the midfielder on the penalty spot. Sort of. Get in, boys. Nerdy again steps up. Making a difference. You know when I said the Barcelona fans better not have been hoping for a, a Lionel Messi? Uh, a new Leo? Well, I think they might have got one. Now I've got this new perk. Oh, come on. Why are you not putting that in the corner? Well, that keeps it interesting, but they're running out of time here. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Ooh. We've now, in the last 10 minutes, found a bit of rhythm again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Look how many men they've got running forward. They are in. Why are you both leaving that fella at the back post? What are you doing? Oh my lord. Holy crap. Well, there we go. What did you make of that performance? Well, another excellent result, and it's the perfect start. Of course, they're not through yet, but another good performance, and they'll surely make the knockout stages. Okay. All right, what the heck is going on? Um, a good win, we'll take it. We'll absolutely take it. Let's get into our next game. I mean, I guess the more training we do, the more uh, the more points we get, the more points we can then spend on things. But let's keep going. Sevilla. Godfrey. Is that not? Is that the Everton Godfrey, do you reckon? Is that his name? Is that his name, Godfrey? I think so. Well, this is the kind Interesting. Of match every football fan looks forward to a lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension packed occasion. It's Barcelona. They take on Sevilla live on EA TV. Okay. Hello from Let's get going. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. An action coming up from Delaney? the top division, La Liga. Who are these people? It's Barcelona, and they take on Sevilla. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. That's how to rob them of possession. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. The Brazilian Neto is the man between the posts. Derek, this could be a goal here. <sighs> how, 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 how? How? I think I did like a toe punt as well. I thought it was going to be like that Ronaldo goal. Fat Ronaldo. Um, from whatever World Cup it was when he had the triangle haircut. <laughs> he just like ran forward and everyone thought he was going to cut, cut sideways and then he just toe punted it past the goalie. It was a great goal. Highly recommend having a look at uh, Fat Ronaldo if you don't know who he was. Brazilian Ronaldo. Amazing footballer. Well, an amazing goal scorer for a period of time. Pogba. 
That ball up top is the ball. Please play it. No. Fine. An alert intervention. You decide. It's, it's not really a big issue. It's just one of the best players in the world who can't play an obvious ball to a, a winger who's got acres of space to run into. It's not a problem. And you won't get dropped from the team, whereas if I do something like that, I'm dropped instantly. How did he read that like that? Sod off. If he knew I was going to try and take that past him on my chest. Come on now. Here they come again. We've tried the long ball a couple of times. It hasn't come off. An awful lot of green space to run into. This looks promising. Marino sends it back. Oh my lord. We've got Neto in goal. Interesting. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Did his job defensively. Mikel Marino. Chance to play it in. Delaney. I don't know who Delaney is, but I think they've got... Is it Matty Cash? Is that who that is? And Ben Godfrey? Is that... Are they the names? I feel like they might be the names. Is that really who they've signed from... From England? We had Phillips in the last game. Interesting. Still on level terms. Moving the ball nicely. Marino... Not a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Well, this has to get better because as those stats confirm, the attacking play from both sides just hasn't been good enough. It's all been a little bit too cautious so far. Dembele. Space and time for the cross. Oh, knew that was coming. Shouldn't have shot. Certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Ugh. Right. Ooh. Don't know what you were thinking with that cross, Dembele. I was never getting anything on that at all. Look at that. Flip flop, flop, flap. Oh, God. Referee just kicked me in the back of the leg. I remember. Um, um, you know you know when you play football, right? Or when you watch football and you think, why do these players go down so easily? Um, and I don't think this is the reason that they go down so easily. But I remember playing five-a-side football in a, in a, like a, a tournament. Um, and I was, I was maybe early 20s, right? And I, it was an indoor game, right? And the ball got... You know, I don't know if you've ever played indoor football. But you bounce the ball off the wall and so on and so forth. The ball got sort of up against the wall. And I had my foot on the ball sort of shielding it away from the from the person who was trying to kick the ball get the ball off me and right, there was a, an actual referee on the on the pitch um and the, the bloke who's trying to get the ball off me as i stood there holding it sort of under my foot it was just kicking me repeatedly in the shin right just like over and over and over again i'm like ref right and the ref looked at me and i'm like ref as he carried on kicking me in the foot i reckon he kicked me in the foot about six times before I actually had to like take the ball and run off with it. I'm like, he was just, I just like to the ref, he was just basically kicking me. What are you doing? And he, was, uh, he just completely ignored it. And I think that's the thing. It's a bit different in five-side football, obviously, right? Um, and especially at those sort of levels. But you know, obviously most of the reason that players roll around on the ground and dive on the floor is to, to get the advantage, right? It's a, it's a winning thing. It's a, a cheaty thing. Um, but it's how the game is set up to be played, unfortunately. It's, you know, uh, but also, if you don't go down and make it obvious, it's very difficult for the referee to see at that kind of pace a step on a toe, a, you know, a clip of a heel, unless you throw yourself on the floor. And that's that's some of the problem, right? The only way to solve that is, you know, like when you go to like Laser Quest, is that still a thing? Sorry. Sorry, Dembele. <laughs> what the heck? Um, yeah, when you go to like laser tag places and you, you get tagged and, and your, your thing goes off, they should have like full blown uh, body pads all over their body that senses any kind of contact. Um, that's the only way to solve it. I also think we should use like uh, 
maybe not radar, but you know uh, when for offsides they should have like they have, should have sensors right in the center of their chest, like Iron Man. Um, and if that's past the other player's sensors, then you're offside. Job done. You don't need linesmen for that. What about little things like when the ball is kicked off the pitch uh, by a defender and then they claim a goal kick? Uh, wouldn't football be good or interesting right? if, if everybody who played a game had to be honest just for one game? Wouldn't it be interesting to see? It'd be like when they uh, get in, when they, um, they mic'd up the referees for, for one game. They gave referee, a bit like in rugby and American football, when you can hear the referee give the announcement. They mic'd up the ref so you could hear the conversation. And it was such a tyrant of abuse <laughs> that they had to stop it. And I'm not, I'm not suggesting you should ever abuse a referee. You know, they've got a ter terrible job to do, but they get, I mean, they get paid well for it. They've got a terrible job to do at that kind of level, right? But when you bring it down the levels, they've got an impossible job to do with, with a bunch of arseholes and they're not paid for it. Um, so you should never ever abuse a referee but the other problem with referees and a lot of football as a whole and we're seeing this with VAR is the people making decisions haven't played football you know I haven't played football I wouldn't know what it's, it's like at that level you know it's get in oh what a strike it's very very different at that kind of level than it is to than it is to amateur football right but the referees at the top level have everything everything going their way to be able to make decisions and they still get them wrong which indicates to me we cannot rely on what we've got i would argue that when you watch and i, I think it's a certain level of pundits you know when you listen to the football and you know you've got a terrible pundit uh, who you know who just has like a script almost of things to say um you know you're in trouble but you know, I, I would argue that jamie carragher and gary neville are pretty good pretty good at reading games from the from the commentary box um i don't remember too many times when one of those have got a decision that's gone to var wrong and then the refs have changed their mind and given them the opposite decision to what they're saying i would argue that if they listen to the oh my god neto what are you doing we've got bloody george waringo um there's a blast from the past um i would suggest that maybe the people in the VAR room should be listening to the commentary from the games because uh, I think they get better understanding of what's going on or they should just bring in oh they got Bono a Bono in goal no wonder they're losing um, um, yeah if they if they had proper footballers in that in that room discussing the why it's a penalty why it's not a penalty thing then at least we'd have more hope of getting it right the other thing is offsides you know, just just if it's close just give it to the give it to the attacker i think well, that's probably the safest way right we want to see goals we shouldn't be measuring armpits and stuff what's that all about you know this whole thing around the sleeve of the t-shirt or the seam of the sleeve or whatever it is what if you're wearing like a long long sleeve does that make a difference what have you got little arms to win possession back I think I think the rules for VAR and offside they should basically say if we're contemplating getting the lines out to see if this is onside then it's onside now that that would be enough for me if we get to the point of we need a decision because the uh, the lines on the pitch don't you know don't help and maybe that's maybe that's the answer maybe maybe ground staff should have to cut the line look at the lines on this pitch where you can see they should have to do it in smaller increments <laughs> so you've got that visual indicator on the pitch that shows what's on side and offside uh, and then we just you know that's the way we that's the way we play if you think it's that close that you have to get the lines out and draw a picture on the screen then then it's is onside job done i should be in charge of var i've decided I've realised that I've just rabbited on for about <laughs> 10 minutes about just garbage. I apologise. Um, the, the game has been done and dusted for a little while, actually. They haven't really created anything, he says, as they burst forward. Uh, another one. Um, good save, Neto. We had Neto do a little cameo in the middle of the goal, running back and forth. But yeah, it's been a, it's been a pretty 
pretty easy one, I think, for us, which is unusual. We normally look so shoddy at the back. We'll take it. Boom, get out of here. Well, there we go. Big win. Big win for us. Uh, a wrap up of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I've solved all of the problems with VAR. Um, <laughs> we've got another win. Let's have a little look at the league and stuff. See what that means and, and what it what it looks like. I think additionally, I'm quite intrigued about how many goals we've scored. Didn't get an assist this time around. I'm a bit disappointed about that. We've been we've been banging in assists and goals, and this time around, just the goal. Um, nice, two nice goals as well. Actually, De Jong's was class. Um, there we go. We'll, we'll take that. And they look happy in the dressing room. No idea what they're saying. They're speaking Spanish. We're in third place. Us, Atletico, and Real Madrid. Um, and let's just can we go to my pro is there a way my career let's have a little look uh, we've been with four clubs we've got two league titles two no cups one we're currently getting paid 160 grand a week our value is 76.5 million pounds we've had one team of the week and one player of the month that doesn't seem ideal out of all, all in all, we've played 104 games. We've won 70 of them. We've drawn 18. We've lost 16. We've got 84 goals. That's insane. For Barca, we currently have um, eight goals in 10 games, which is pretty, pretty nice. Right, we're going to wrap up there. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. As I said, uh, maybe a couple of episodes now. Just, it might have been in the start of this one. I don't know. Um, the the release of these may be a bit more sporadic. We've been doing them pretty much every other day, but then taking a bit of a break with the end of season stuff. Uh, with other games coming out and other games that we're playing, we might find that because we try and release those every day, there's a spell without any, and then we go back into every other day for a period of time before we move on to something new. Um, so just don't expect them all of the time. If you 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 know if you want to see them more often, then let me know. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those where it just gets, a, a, in all honesty, the, the game is fine when things are going well, when they go badly. And it's nothing to do necessarily with you. It's just that the ball doesn't ever make it to you or the AI makes terrible decisions, you know, and then you're just like, well, what's the point of me being here? Um, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.